Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast. I'm your host, Danita Young. I'm excited to bring into today's topic of rise again after loss. No matter what loss you might have faced in your life, you might have felt that you become a little bit stagnant, a little bit in that low vibration frequency, and it's really hard to kind of rise again after that. But Mary's going to show us some techniques that she was able to do to really pull herself out. Not only has Mary had such a phenomenal body transformation, but what she has gone through in her life is so empowering that literally just being in her presence, just following her on Facebook and Instagram can literally create a ripple effect into your life as well. So if you're kind of feeling that stuckness, I highly recommend looking and finding um, the Facebook group, the booty bands and barbells, Whitman's fitness community that you can join and find Mary in it. Or if you go ahead and look in the notes down below, you can look at how to follow her too. But I truly think that following the right people, surrounding yourself with people that are leveling themselves up can very much have a ripple effect onto you too. So let's go ahead and get started. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Just a friendly reminder, I'm gonna show you an easy and simple step-by-step -step process that works and it will guarantee your results. So if you're ready to talk more, click the link below. What really kind of stood out was your last before and after photos, you're in a bikini, you're in a swimsuit and you're rocking it. Like you're like, hey, this is Mary. And um, it's a, uh, there's a lot of women out there that have this like fear of the fallen, meaning like they've fallen off for so long that they feel like it's literally impossible to get back to their goals. Like it's so far out of their reach to get back into a swimsuit. And a lot of what we hear is that women just want to just feel good. Even with just, if it's their body, great, but they just want to feel good, like mindset wise, everything. And so can you relate to any of that where at one point in your life that you feel like you had fallen so far down that you almost felt like it was impossible to like pull yourself back up. Well, back in 2017, you know, um, after my mom passed away, I just, I lost my whole self. Really, really. Um, and like when I was looking at pictures, okay, so I don't know if you remember, you had me do one of these boards. Do you Vision remember that? boards? Yes, I remember yeah. that. Okay, so when I took those pictures, you were like, you look amazing. At that time, I didn't see that. I saw like my calves. I saw like everything. And I was just like... I was having trouble breathing. I was having trouble, you know, doing different things. And that's when I wanted to change and starting off. And especially when in that bathing suit, when I saw that, I was telling everybody, you let me walk around like that. They were like, we didn't see that. And, you know, it's, but as us, we see everything. <laughs> And we always look at the negative. And I didn't realize how many people have always told me, you carry yourself so well and with so much confidence. And I do because I wear what I want to wear. And you know what? I'm going to rock that outfit. Even no matter what size I am, I'm still going to rock it. So when I was sitting there working out, and recording myself and through this process, I'm noticing little definitions and I'm noticing, I was like, wow, I, it's just amazing because in the beginning it was like, I wanted a quick fix. I wanted to see something so quick, you know, and it's not being in your group is just, it's taught me patience. It's taught me that it's not going to happen overnight. And it's like, I have to just take a breath, focus on today. And just, you know, 
embrace today and focus on the wins. Focus, you know, just one day at a time. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. So let's go through each stage of what happened then. So when you had lost, you said it was your mom, right? I'm very Mm -hmm. sorry. Very sorry. I loss loss is a big thing and it really it, this is not the first time that i've heard that loss has almost in a way lost themselves too when they experience loss like they really just go down the grieving cycle and they they miss themselves for years it's just like they fall off the earth too and so what was the first step for you to from this place of falling off it seems impossible like where did you initially start or what what gave you the courage to start You know, it was just finding your, it was finding your group the very first time. Um, I had my apartment in the end or the beginning of 2018, but I remember buying your bands and I just remember your group going into that community and women were sitting there just They were posting pictures, like no fear, no, like everybody was empowering everybody. And that was just, that gave me the courage. You know what? I can share my story because maybe somebody's feeling like I'm feeling and let me help them give that confidence. You know, everybody has the confidence. It's just hiding. So something very beautiful, as I've been down in a self-development world for a very long time, something very interesting that you just did there, and I want you guys that are listening to hear hear this, there are what's called laws of the universe. Believe it or not, there are, and when they make them a law, it's because it's been proven repetitiously. So things as like cause and effect, it's a law, right? So it's just proven itself to be that law. And so what you are doing to actually manifest your goals quicker is you were giving away support. And when you give away support, what that does is it puts you in the same frequency of support. So like when they say, if you want more abundance in your life, you want to be sharing or teaching other people abundance or giving abundance because it puts you in that same frequency. So what you did And you were like, I want to be able to have support. I want to be able to have people, you know, find me inspiring and et cetera. So what you did is you jumped in and you created that same frequency in the group. And what happens is the opposite as I see this is some people are still in the group that have been there since the very beginning as you, however, they've never posted. They never put themselves out there. They never were inspiring. They were never supporting. So they never got that same thing back. So that's very profound that what you did there was not only like an act of bravery, but also is proven in the way that we actually reach our goals because it is in that frequency of the same frequency of our goal. So very, I had to point that out. Really awesome. (laughs) That was the beginning. So now let's hear about in the middle. In the middle, I hear that it's like, oh man, I've lost, you know, a good amount of weight and you want to feel good, but you still have some time or still some room to go. But then you can feel very defeated in the middle of your own journey. You could have lost 20 pounds or more, but you feel defeated. And that feeling can then almost spiral you back to like the start. So what did you do that was in that middle that allowed you to keep pushing forward to say, no, I'm going to break through this self-doubt. I'm going to do the impossible. And I'm going to reach this version of Mary, even though I've had that experience of loss the tools you have provided me, you know, it, it's really digging deep inside, you know, you could sit there and there's been many times where I've gotten down to like a certain weight. And I was like, when I got to that weight, I just, I still felt empty. And in the middle, it was more of just, you know what, I'm going to do this for me because this is going to help me. And I don't know everything and I'm still learning. And it's, it's a process, you know, it's a process. And I, I just 
if I can learn something new and be able to share that to some, for somebody else that is, you know, wanting to change, but yet they're still afraid, you know, or sitting there thinking how I was thinking in the beginning, you know, it, it's kind of sharing, you know, what you're doing, you know, you did everything like listening to your stories are so inspiring, you know, and we all have inspiring stories. You know, we've all been somewhere it's, and somebody's going to relate to that. So my middle is, I've had surgeries. I had my varicose veins. I had my shoulder surgery. I, I did the mud run two weeks ago and I got bit by a bug, had an allergic reaction, horrible allergic reaction, had IV, I was like stuck in bed, you know, just, and two weeks today, this morning, I got up, worked out. It took me a little bit, but I ended up working out and I feel amazing. You know, um, being able to share, you know, I had to stop this morning and realize, you know what? Monday, when I had my IV taken out, I was like, so focused on working out, you know, I was like, I'm gonna do this, I'm free, I'm free. But my body wasn't healed yet. I wasn't strong enough. So I had to wait till I could build up my strength. And today I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And I feel great, you know. So it's, (laughs) <laughs> it is it's that's my win for me so <laughs> no thanks for sharing that again again a couple things got brought up on that sharing did you guys hear that again she said share a few times right there again that is so important we don't really understand those words and why they can be very big until we really understand the bigger picture on how to really reach our goal and so thank you for sharing that again share so If there is one note you guys can take away, that's it. So share your journey as much as you can. Add your vulnerability in there. And if you don't feel safe on, let's say, your own social media accounts, go into our Facebook group. I will mark my words. If you do not feel safe in there, I will remove anybody that you need me to remove because it is supposed to be a place of inspiration and empowerment. That is what it's designed for. So go in there and feel vulnerable, share, say, hey, this is my first time doing this. And guess what? We're going to embrace you because we've all been there. We all used to be scared and fearful too, but we dove in. And that is how you reach your goals is diving in and not letting the fear take over. So the next part you mentioned, Mary, was talking about taking the time that you needed to sitting there with the IV because you had this bug bite you. Life is good. That just shows me life. Life is going to happen. There's going to be loss. There's going to be events. There's going to be those injuries. Life is going to happen. Now we can prevent those things. Of course, we don't have to have those things, obviously, but there's still going to be life no matter what form it's going to take. And I wanted to share this example because um, it, it really helps me when I go through those life moments is that when life moments happen is all of a sudden we just zero ourselves into these crazy details of the event the feeling about how it's so, man, I wish I want to do my workouts. And then if I feel like I'm not doing my workouts, now what I'm doing is getting farther behind. Oh, if I'm getting further behind now, I'm starting at the very beginning. If I'm starting back from the beginning, I feel frustrated. And all of that leads into an energy of your loop. We know that the thoughts and the feelings and the feelings become the actions, the actions become the outcome. That's just what the reality of it is. And then we can become stuck and all of a sudden a bug bite can lead to 20 years later where we're like, well, I just had a bug bite and now I'm here. (laughs) What? (laughs) So what we need to do is what I liked that you mentioned is your patience. Well, you've said at the very beginning of the call, one foot at a time, because in order to have patience, what we have to do is bring ourselves out into the bigger picture. And we have to look at what is Mary going to look like in a year from now? Is this bug bite going to really make that big of a deal If she has to take a few weeks off to heal the bug bite, and then she jumps back into it, it was not going to be that big of a deal on your journey. But what people do is they get so sucked into, I had a bad meal and they let the bad meal turn into the bad day. 
And then that bad day turns into a bad week and it literally manifests until it's all of a sudden 20 years later. See? Yes. <laughs> So the power and control we have is by pulling ourselves back and looking at the big picture. So I'm going to give you guys a story here. All right. So I used to drive a Range Rover. Now you might be thinking, oh, Danita drove a Range Rover. No, it wasn't even mine. It was actually my fiance's. And I thought I basically made it mine. I was like, that's my car because I had manifested a car in my life to be safe and secure. And I felt luxury in, and boy, did I feel those in this Range Rover. I felt like I was on top of the world when I was driving. I enjoyed every day of driving that thing. And then all of a sudden, one day there was a rainstorm and I ran the rain Range Rover into a pole. Yeah, you guys, a pole. How come I didn't see the freaking pole? All right. Again, life happens. Bug bites happen. Bad meals are going to happen death loss is going to happen. So I remember feeling so emotional about losing this car. I remember I just sat there thinking, oh man, now that feeling of luxury and safety. Now I don't, I can't afford a nicer car. I'm just going to have to buy like a little Honda Civic or, I mean, nothing against Honda Civics, but I'm just gonna have to go buy like those cars that I grew up like right driving. that didn't really feel that safe in. Oh, I don't want to go back to that feeling. And so I was thinking anything possible, I can try to fix this car. And the mechanic kept coming back to me saying, I mean, it's totaled. You can try fixing it, but you're going to have more problems later. And I was like, oh, and I kept debating over and over again, man, I really want this car it made me feel a certain way. I've been manifesting it for my entire life. I wanted a car like this. If I paid attention into the details and tried so much on an emotional part of me, I probably would have paid for the Range Rover and then would have kept driving the car. And honestly, the grand, if I would have looked at the overall big picture, I would still be throwing money into that thing. And it would have been a bad decision, but I trusted, I trusted that there's going to be something better out there for me. And even though I couldn't financially afford a car, I co-signed with my mom and said, Hey mom, I need some help right now. Financially in my life. She's like, all right, let's do it. So I got a Cadillac. And the Cadillac, I feel safe and secure and luxury. I got that same type of feeling, but it was a different vehicle. So what happens is life is all of a sudden we have a relationship we break up with and we think, oh no, this is the end. That feeling of all the memories, all the things I started with this person, now it's all gone. You know what? And then we lose ourselves in it. But we don't think about the bigger picture. What's going to happen with the next relationship? It could be possibly better, better than the Range Rover because it has been. I don't have to worry about throwing money into the vehicle because it's newer. Wow. So if we actually trusted that there is a process that when these bad events happen to us, that there could be a light at the end of the tunnel. So now that I think when I say that, is there anything that comes up for you is maybe when you lost your parents, obviously, it's terrible. It's a loss. It's life happens. What gave you the bigger picture to pull yourself out of that loss and find you again? Um, it took a while. It took a very long while. I mean, I still have my moments where it's like, I miss my mom so much, you know, because she was my rock. She was something that I could fall back on and just tell me, don't worry me how everything's going to be okay. And it's like, when life happens, I'm like, and nobody's to, there to catch me, you know, and it's just like, wait a minute. You know, I got to say, my boys, I, you know, David and Alex, they're 27 and 24 and a half. And it's they're They are my rock right now. They are my rock. And it's anytime, like if I need something, we're helping each other. You know, if they need something, if I, I will do anything and everything for those boys, you know, men, I'm all young men. <laughs> They're not boys anymore. Um, so it, it was like, I was so focused on, you know, oh my gosh, I lost my mom. I lost my dad. You know, I'm, like, but wait, I'm the parent. I am the parent. And my sons need me. 
And if I can't sit here and take care of myself, how am I going to help them? You know, how, like, this is one of my things that changed on not really, like, it's not being that certain weight. You know, my goal Mm -hmm. is to be able to be a healthier version of me in the future, in now, because when they have their children, I want to be able to sit there and run around with them and do all the things that I did when I was younger with my boys. So that's where it's not even looking for, I want to be skinny. I want to be like this person. I want to be like that person. No, I'm focusing on me and being a healthier version of myself. Thank you for sharing that because that is majority of these women, what their goals are is they just want to feel that happy version of themselves again. They just want to feel good because they've been in such a, that loss for so long that life happened. And so I don't know if you guys listening heard this, but did you hear her Range Rover to her Cadillac? (laughs) Her parents where the Range Rover, her new rock is her boys. Did you guys hear that? So the profound thing is, is when we have life happen and then when we lose our rock and we never get it back, we don't see a bigger picture to see that that rock can possibly be in another form. Yep. <laughs> right? So true. <laughs> and then we get a, we get a, we get to get back into life. We get to get back into the game. We get to get back to us. We get to get back to those goals. So those that are listening right now, if you're in that defeated place of loss, open and expand your mind right now. If it was a rock, if it was support, if it was a feeling of safety or security, where can you find that again and be open to it? Because if you're closed, you can't find it. That's a contracting energy. Isolating yourself. You don't find things that are over here in your expansive energy. So expand yourself. Look for it as Mary did and said, my boys are my rock. This is my mission. This is my purpose. This is what I'm doing now. Yep. Wow. (laughs) Way cool. Thank you for sharing that. And then... The beautiful reward is now you're fitting into bikinis and et cetera, et cetera. It's not, it's just kind of like an after fact. You're like, that's great. But the real goal is that you want to run around with your, your grandchildren. Yeah. And how do you think your mom would feel if she knew that you didn't stay in your suffering, but you turned it around and you dedicated yourself to not only being the best mom and example to your boys, And that also now you're dedicating your health to be able to live your future life with your grandchildren. How do you think that made her feel? Proud. I'm proud of myself. Mary, thanks for all this great information today on loss and how we can start to really reach our goals by realizing it is possible. And I I appreciate your journey and you sharing your journey because you are truly an inspiration for those that are stuck. And I know that some women can be stuck for over 50 years and just your sharing can really help inspire that. It's been a journey with you and I thank you so much, you know, because you have given me that safe place to be able to do this. I don't like talking in front of people. <laughs> but if I don't talk in front of people, how how is how am I going to help others? Breaking out of that fearness of just you know, if they think that whatever it doesn't matter what they think somebody out there is going to hear my my story and it's going to sit there and it's going to help them and even if i don't get the acknowledgement from it i know that i'm still out there helping so 
at the game. Thank you. <laughs> Thank so you. welcome. You're so welcome. <laughs> my heart feels like it's literally exploding out of my chest right now. So much love on this. Mary, thanks for all this great information today on loss and how we can start to really reach our goals by realizing it is possible. And I, I appreciate your journey and you sharing your journey because you are truly an inspiration for those that are stuck. And I know that some women can be stuck for over 50 years and just your sharing can really help inspire that. So thank you for this information and sharing and being vulnerable, Mary, truly. Uh, what would you tell somebody, somebody that is really struggling through menopause and having all of these side effects and feel super alone with the weight gain, with the loss of energy, with all those things that come with it. And as you mentioned, it's been kind of taboo to talk about, like our parents never talked about it. What could you say, kind of imagining that they're in that position where they don't have a community or friends to kind of talk about this? What would you tell them? They have podcasts out on YouTube. Um, learn about it. Learn about it. Um, find out as much as you can because I didn't know. I was the only girl out of five boys. So my mom didn't really, you know, it was men. And then I have two sons of myself, you know, it's like I can't talk to them you know it's just like <laughs> but when I was going through I literally felt like I had a mental breakdown and I was scared and I was like I felt like I was drowning and I reached out for help and I started okay let me learn this let me see let's do this let's do this you know because I have been on a healthier journey and because I was working out that helped slow things down. And I didn't realize that, you know, but learning all this new things, it's just like, wow, you know, that I had a hysterectomy back in 2014. We're in 2000, 2023. And from that to now, I'm going through and share, share, find out as much as you can, learn, ask for help. You're not alone. You are not alone. That's great. Honestly, it's really profound information truly because when you're alone I mean it doesn't seem like it's that hard of a thing but truly when you're alone you become so isolated that you just really lose the outside world and so to know that there's people out there especially like a community that can embrace you you know you feel like a lot of things can be impossible so thank you for sharing that and our group is here for you come in as we continue to keep learning and sharing, learning and sharing, learning and sharing. <laughs> like that's exactly like Mary's motto. Learn, share, learn, share. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today. I really appreciate it. Really profound information. And again, such a great inspiration. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Just a friendly reminder, I'm gonna show you an easy and simple step-by-step -step process that works and it will guarantee your results. So if you're ready to talk more, click the link below.